I was once a camper myself. But it wasn't anything like this. Cheap creep. What's happening, Jeep Creepers? Today on this episode, what we will be working on are seats, okay? Um, I found some seats uh, on the side of the road on an old couch, and I decided, hey, I could use those and save a lot of money. So I uh, got those, and uh, also I built, um, or I'm going to build some bench seats. Um, it's going to look good, so let's check it out. And this is the stuff that I'm using. It's RIT um, Charcoal Gray. And it works on all types of materials. Um, the material that I have on these couch cushions are like a cotton blend, I believe. And uh, something funny um, with cotton blend is you use one cup of salt and one teaspoon of liquid dish, dish detergent in 140 degree or hot water. Let it soak for up to an hour to get the maximum. So I got it sitting there. You're supposed to fold it in. Um, the stuff will actually work in your washing machine too, which is kind of interesting. Um, but it's only really for top loading washers. So, um, or not top loading, sorry, si uh, front loading washers. So uh, I guess you need that tumbler to kind of rotate the die or whatever. I'm just gonna kind of uh, get in there and um, soak it, move it around every once in a while while it's folded in. Use some rubber gloves, keep your hands nice and clean and uh, it's gonna look pretty good. Um, the original color was kind of a blue denim, kind of a navy blue denim, I guess, or royal blueish, somewhere in between there. And I want to get a really dark charcoal gray, so I'm going for the full one hour soak. I found an old couch that wasn't in bad shape on the side of the road that somebody was getting rid of. And uh, the reason why I like old couches is, I look at this foam. It is super thick and soft and firm at the same time. And they put this cotton or whatever on the outside. Um, you know, kind of uh, buyer beware there. Um, you know, you want to make sure you don't get any bed bugs or anything like that or anything gross. So you're going to really want to make sure it's in good shape and you clean it thoroughly if you're going to do that. But a piece of foam like that, oh my God, foam is so ridiculously expensive and it's hard to get the right thing and uh, to cut it. Uh, I'm not a seamstress or anything. So uh, it's just easier to get couch cushions because like you can see that for my application, you know, they fit right on there. No problem. So, while the, uh, the die is going, I'm gonna start working on building uh, a platform for this, for the cushions to rest on. Uh, the cushion will only come up to right about here and go up to the end, um, right there where the bed is. So, there'll be a little bit of a shelf here. Um, I'm not sure what I'll do there yet. Right now, I'm just gonna get the cutouts going. Um, one thing that I did get mounted and cut out is I got half my cabinet installed. Yay! So that's all nice and I cut around the wheel well and butted it up as best I could up against the wall and everything. Um, use my brad nailer to nail it in. I'm gonna have to repaint that again just to get the paint all right so don't worry about the nail heads or brad nail heads. Uh, and then the front I'm gonna leave open for right now because I don't know what's going on down here. All I know for sure, and I'm gonna work on it, is I want two pull-out drawers for silverware. Um, so that makes sense. The bottom, I'm thinking like two doors that swing open. Um, but I wanna make sure that I got enough room for like a cooler down there. Or uh, I might, you know, if I get really into this, get uh, one of those freezer coolers, DC plug-in coolers. But for right now, I'm just gonna, you know, I mean, I'm just weekending it. So I'm just gonna get my regular cool in there for now. And then uh, I still need to fill in the back wall. Um, I'm also going to work on the electronics. I've got a, a DC fuse box board or whatever that I'm gonna mount probably in here somewhere, I'm guessing, and figure out, you know, I'm still thinking all this over, but somewhere where I can put a battery in here, maybe like in the back corner or something where it's not super accessible because the, um, the couch cushion where the seat comes up, I'm gonna have where it has like a hinge. Uh, so there's that little spot underneath the bed that um, you can't obviously lift up. So I'm thinking maybe putting the battery like way back there or the water, um, I, I don't know yet. I just need to see how things fit. So, um, but yeah, this is looking pretty good so far. So let's get started 
on measuring and cutting out this. All right, sun setting. Uh, I'm gonna get these uh, seats cut out here. They're 44 and three quarter long by 22 deep. So let's get those going. Uh, I'm using just regular old uh, 11 32nd uh, ply. It uh, doesn't need to be anything heavy duty because the gap is not very wide. So I don't have to worry about, um, you know, people caving it in with their butts. Um, the seat is also pretty firm as well, the cushion. So uh, honestly, I sat on the bench with just the cushion and it didn't fall through. That gives you an idea of how much uh, structural integrity I really need to uh, make this little uh, cabinet area. So let's get started. And you can see I got it in there. Um, I need to figure out where I want to cut it so only a section of it opens up. But I got it nice and tight. Um, this little lip here was originally for running a piece of plywood or whatever for additional bunks. But uh, I don't think I need to worry about that. But yeah, it's pretty strong. <laughs> Let's see if I can sit on it. As you can see, I'm sitting on it, even though it's thin. It's not the thickest of things, but um, it supports me pretty well. So you can get away with this uh, on this particular application because of the crossbar. That's my alarm going off. But um, you can see the crossbar there and uh, you're pretty much sitting on the crossbar, so you can get away with uh, thinner wood on this application. All right, there is our other side. Looking pretty good. Um, I'm gonna get some more of that Kills paint, paint them white, and then uh, get some more of my gray spray paint. Because um, if you try spray painting that much wood, it won't even, it won't even change the color. Uh, spray paint is like thinner than water. Um, so you should only paint a painted surface when it comes to, to wood like that, or you're just wasting paint. So, uh, yeah, my bucket of kills, I'll uh, pre-paint with that. Um, I could probably find a gray color that's close, but uh, I would rather just get it exact, um, just so it looks good. And then, uh, yeah, you work on getting some of this cleaned up as well. Okay, I got my uh, bench seat cut into two pieces. Uh, this is the piece that will have a hinge on it, and that's the piece that will uh, be under the Murphy bed and it can't move. So what I'm gonna do is, is uh, I've got a couple hinges there, and uh, I'm gonna mount it to that, and you can see where, you know, the Murphy bed's in the way, so that's gonna be, um, you know, something that li doesn't lift up, and then it'll come to the very end, and you can lift it up uh, on the very end as well. So uh, what I'm gonna do first is get them both painted. Uh, I'm gonna use a Kills Primer, and then uh, I'm gonna use, uh, which I probably mentioned before, but uh, I'm really liking this color. This is the Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch um, Satin Granite, okay? That is the color that I used for um, the bottom and uh, all around. And uh, I got my pillowcases stained just a little bit dirty I think but uh, came out pretty good and uh, I got some decorative throw pillows that I found at um, where was that home goods I think uh, maybe TJ Maxx might have been TJ Maxx but uh, yeah nice oversized pillows it'll look great and it's the same color all right so this is what the bench seats look like i got them in and you can see that uh, that side is um, statically mounted because the uh, murphy bed's there um, but this side hinges open real nice look at that got all that storage in there i took an i caulk line in there i still need to cover my access panel there but look at that nice it's got a little bit of a lip here so you can kind of grab it real nice and easy 
and uh, yeah, looking good. So this is the, uh, the other side that I'm working on currently. You can see the uh, hinges there. Just waiting for this panel to dry, and I'll go ahead and get that installed, and we'll have one on this side. All right, well, we got them in. I mean, uh, check it out. Looking pretty snazzy. Got our sink there. Let's check out this side. I mean, uh, I couldn't be happier with how this turned out. It's got a really nice, uh, clean, you know, modern trailer look or modern camper look, I guess, a little bit with all the neutrals. So, all right, well, stay tuned and uh, we got some more cool things coming up. All right, see you next time. Thank you.